Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Kiona Team Search. Dynamic. Exhilarating. The Netbank Cup Team Search. Kiona. The Netbank Cup. The one. You've got an attacking third, mid third, and defending third. And all these areas have responsibilities. And right now, we're moving straight into elimination. Two boys will be going home. Kiana, greetings everyone and welcome to this, the seventh episode of season number six of the NetBank Kiana Team Search. We're at the halfway point now of our nerve-wracking, pulse-quickening quest to turn footballing potential into footballing greatness. And now only 23 of the original class of 2018 are left. The top 23 of the NetBank Kiana Team Search. Over the last few weeks, they've pushed themselves to the limit. They've played their hearts and souls out on the pitch, but still, they haven't given their all. In today's exciting episode, you'll get to see the top 23 NetBank Akiona contenders playing a thrilling match, as well as enduring some really tough training to get them in shape, of course, for the challenges that lie ahead. As we do, we'll be giving you the opportunity and chance to back your player in the NetBank Akiona interactive draft campaign. All you'll need, aside from your smartphone, is some smart thinking, so get ready to make your choice later on in the show. The harsh reality underpinning this footballing reality show is that only a handful of even those most talented players will make it through to the big league. Stay with us and find out who they are. This is now my second photo shoot. Um, so it's, it's just that feeling of being excited and it's, it's, it's a very overwhelming feeling because you know that you are now um, at the verge of a breakthrough, you're at the brinks of greater things that are about to happen, so that's how I feel. Since I'm going to do this more, I have to get used to it because I guess I just deal with it, so then the experience of experience are right for you and your The focus on today's sort of chat with the boys is going to be on just finding out how the program went when they left the last camp, trying to see what exercises they did, how often they did it, how they found the exercises. What did you find difficult? Uh, it was a a chess paper you have to run from here to the D-line, then from the D-line to the centre and then from the centre to the D. That was yeah, tiring. We took a look at the, the results that they did with the sports scientists from Turks. We took a look at all their values, tried to explain to them why we did the testing. So soccer is not just based on skills. We are looking at muscle endurance, muscle strength, we are looking at power, we are looking at your ability to run over a long period of time and we're looking at your ability to see what your flexibility was in your body mm. and then obviously looking at how much lean mass you are so how thin you are in single skin how much body fat you have on you okay, according to your body weight should be 16 you're over it you're 17 yeah which means you've got strong legs so you remember jumping up on the staircase outside oh, yeah. I hate yeah. so well. but also you're shorter than most yeah so it also changes a little bit so we more look at your jump to your body weight so it's 15.3 mm. You should be 16.8, so it needs a little bit more power. Okay. If you're playing midfielder, you want to be able to get quick off the mark. You want to get that power if you have to jump and header. You want to get to that position. You want to get up above the other person in front of you. So you're a striker, yes. you need to be quick. <laughs> 1.76 is the norm. You're 1.89 for the first 10 meters. Yeah. For 40 meters, you're on 5.33, must be 5.15. You had a bit of a hard problem with that, you the last time. Just make sure that you just watch the tap my head. Being able to describe and explain it to the boys, I think it's an important thing when soccer players start taking the next level, that it's not just a skills based set. We're looking at the full entire component of the human body and it's a, the engine and the machine that it is. 
and allowing the boys to understand that this is something that's very important for them moving forward in their careers. What brought me here today, I mean, uh, if you look at this Kiona team, I mean, it's something that we're always looking for stars. But we think that sometimes, you know, when they get into the PSL, the mindset is not right. So for me, basically, it's just to tell them some of the stories and basically how to use their mind when they get the opportunity. Well, first of all, I mean, uh, for me, as people know that I was a goal scorer, and I think that is what they've been lacking in the past. And I want to make sure that if I get more opportunities that these guys know what the objective is, about football is about scoring goals. You know, it's no good playing good football. You know, once you get that co confidence of scoring three, four, then you can play, then you can have fun. So uh, my job is to make sure that they understand that. I think Kiona, they put a lot of effort into it. So you guys being here, well done for coming so far and reaching this point, but you know, this is just the start. Because I believe me, not all of us are going to make it to become professionals, but it's always what you put in. So I've always believed whatever you put in, you'll get the result. There's no ways around it. Play first time, play me, play me. Yeah, that's it. Good keeper. Go, 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 go. Nasty go. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, left. Yeah. I'm, hey, hey, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There's a lot that I took from this session and I'm tired. Uh, I used to, 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 to quickly uh, go and cover a defender's arm, thinking that the, the, the striker or the opposition is already done with them. I'm kind of learned that I have to be patient and wait until I can see that he's out. Then I can go out and, and assist him. Uh, 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 session I'm challenging, not then I'll quick, quick crosses because there were uh, exercises where the wings were put in the crosses and then all I had to do was to go out and collect the crosses. It's an overwhelming experience to have uh, the likes of the legend Mark Williams uh, teaching us how to score goals and making us to see uh, the things that we didn't see. It's a pleasure and then it's a dream come true for me. Okay, welcome back to the NetBank and Kiona Team Search. All that strategic thinking you saw before the break is designed with only one aim in mind, to get our players in tip-top mental condition to match their physical fitness as they prepare to demonstrate their prowess where it really counts, right on the field of football in glory. As we will get manje at the highlights of their grueling but beautiful game. I'm Javon Chisholm, I'm goalkeeper at Mamelodi Sundowns. We're playing against the Kiona Netbank team. We're expecting a, a good run because they want to um, showcase the, the skills against Sundowns and they got a lot to prove. So, yeah, we, we're expecting a, a good run. Yeah, we're about to play the Mamelodi Sundowns MDC team. I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, we got training yesterday, we got here on Friday. So, we're just preparing now for the game. And I'm looking forward to it. Hope the guys are ready because we are ready.
in the striking position. Be patient. Just wait for the right moment. Go wide. Hamba, hamba. Mustn't lose in it's fine. Others will recover. Natsim Tachulo, number 15, the middle fielder from Kiona team. He's a good player, he's a great leader. Even his communication, he's not thinking of himself only, but then he's playing for the team. That's what I like about him. We just had a friendly match with uh, Sundown's MDC team, and even though we lost that match 1 0, but I'm very happy uh, with uh, the objectives of the game and what we wanted to watch as the technical team. We've always endeavored to play uh, friendly matches against the NetBank UNA team so that it also gives them the opportunity to see uh, at our level of academy teams, you know, what is the competition like, what is the talent ability, and also for us to see, you know, uh, the talent out there that we might have missed in the process. Today I thought it was a very, very good game, good uh, styles, different styles of play. Uh, but I'm happy and I'm happy for the boys and wish them all the best uh, in their future endeavours. There's no use of entering this field and you don't enjoy yourself. Go in there and believe in yourselves as well, okay? Thank you, Jess. We are at HPC and the boys have just started their first game Thanks. up against Orlando Pirates MDC. Now, this is their last game before the final decision is going to be made tonight. I can only imagine how they're feeling. So let's see how they do on their very last game. to do whatever they want against you. Switch play, see what will happen. If they are able to react, a flag. The change was a little bit leaky at times, but they were very good through the middle and up top, so they were very good overall. But I know that I'm very confident to, to be able to, to go to the next level, which is the 16-team squad, yeah. which will be playing in Free State. It's hard to bong a 40, a coach for the game he played against the Sundowns. When Genza is a captain, I was excited in Aloko. Cool. I'm mm -hmm. still the game against the Vets. To make and ratify the mistakes is up. And this is a striker, and I have to score. So if I score, like, okay, if you give a penalty, I score, I can choose a bad score. Park at Wits University and our Kiana boys are about to play up against Bitvest Wits. Now this is their second time playing up against a PSL team and also they've never ever won against Wits. So we're hoping that today our boys will do something different. Boys are prepared 
preparing for the second half of the game and I must say they're playing so well. The score so far is 0-0. Obviously, they can see that a lot of new players put together. Absolutely. Um, there's some good individual talent. Um, look, I wish them well. I mean, I'm sure all these friendly games will help them and help the coaches yes. try and get the best combination and see who is the best mm -hmm. available in the certain positions. So, uh, all in all, it was a good game. Kerry, coming into the session, um, prior to us beginning and seeing a group of guys, what were your expectations from them? Um, I, I didn't think they would take it that seriously, mm -hmm. just because it is such a foreign thing to them. Now you're going to lift yourself up, and we're moving into Cobra, so you slowly lower your hips, and then you lift your chest up into Cobra. Bring your right leg forward. Left hand, your fingertips are in line with that foot. They did really, really well. They took it very seriously. Um, you could see that they could maybe feel the, the benefits. I think the relaxation part of it, just to keep calm, um, focusing on your breathing, which is something that listening was really good. To listening yourself. to your body as well. Yeah. There was when, uh, one where we had to listen to our muscles, rest, mm -hmm. relaxing them, and just letting go of all the stresses that uh, our muscles endure, and that was just the, the fun part of it. The session today was more about um, media training, not just about training, but also um, sharing the experiences. Personally, I also have um, of working in the media space in South Africa and also how other footballers perceive the media. And the stories, when they deliver them, it should be about marketing themselves. Uh, it should also be about um, making sure that they make their parents, they make their technical team here, but most importantly, the brand that made it possible for them, uh, NetBank in this case, proud of what they've put together. It's a tough game, this game we all love, this game we call football. But for those who play it, there's more to playing it than just getting out there and waiting for the kickoff whistle. Aside from the training, the strategy and the planning, there must be some time out from the game itself to indulge in the vital exercise of team building. Let's go and have some fun. Let's go boys. Hola, hola. It's nice being up here, I feel like I'm on top of the world. The feelings are untouchable, I feel like a lion, no. The boys are about to have a little bit of a, an R&R &R session, they're gonna have a chill session. For once, let them enjoy themselves, you know, instead of putting them under pressure all the time. Shane, let's go inside. We're having fun. Some of the guys buy it for it, but it's too big. And then, I don't know how to do it. 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 Because yes, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Last year, when I was in Soccer City, we went to a village on the street. We went to the Memorial Museum, which I think it's Hector Peterson's museum. We came up, we saw all the stadium. Those are the fields we would like to see ourselves playing in. Junati, how are you doing? Good, thanks for yourself. I am fantastic. Why do you not look excited? We just, you know, finished with a team building session. How was it? Um, it was great. Um, I am excited, but um, I just didn't go up there because I'm scared of the heights. Would you consider bungee jumping one day? Maybe in the future, but not now. 
Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, did you enjoy the session even? Yeah, I did enjoy the session. Sabule like a cool and a messenger going get little bar. Isn't was in the perfume, isn't was in the like you. Shing is like you, only be suited, Yako. This isn't like a telegram alive. Now, the suit I'm wearing right now is, is very good, it uh, looks good. I look handsome, I'm very handsome in it. Like to give out my biggest gratitude to NetBank with everything that they've given us, experiences they have given us as well. We can see that they're putting the money into good use, you know, things that we as township kids have never experienced before. So I just to, uh, just like to big shout out to them and uh, thank you to them as well and just keep doing the good work that they're doing so far and just keep on doing it for, for many years to come as well from 48 to 30, from 30 to 25, and now from 25 to just 23. The nail biting countdown continues week after week, episode after episode. The search for greatness gets tougher and more intense. Now, after the final round of training as the net bank a key on a top 23, the boys must be acutely aware that their dreams, their hopes, their ambitions are all on the line. Because Gregule Vigil Zaya, for seven of them, a fifth of the current squad, it's all over and back home. Get Kumbos again with whenever you watch your favorite team and your favorite players in action, the success in football is never easily won. And on that note, a reminder too to cast your vote in the NetBank Akiona Interactive Draft Campaign and pick your player. You can make your player choices by dialing the number on the screen. Okay, Sabokoko Kulu for joining us and thank you for your footballing passion and support. And be sure to join us right here, same place, same time, Kulem Vigilzaya, for another action packed episode of the NetBank Kiona Team Search. South Africa's new soccer stars in the making. It is incredibly scary. The tension in here is so thick. The first name to come and join us here on stage to be part of Guyana Team Search Team 2018 is... Netbank is proud to present the Netbank Cup Guyana Team Search. Dynamic, exhilarating, the Netbank Cup Team Search, Giona, the Netbank Cup, the one.